is common all over the other English world. The Gospels in modern English by J.B. Phillips. J.B. Phillips in his preface to the Gospel of Matthew, he says, Early tradition ascribed this Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girl Fanelungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanelungu, and on this channel, we post um reaction videos each and every day so if there's something you want us to react to specifically drop us a link in the comment section below and we'll actually do it for you guys we've got a second youtube channel called funny and just see 2.0 you guys can head there and enjoy our weekly vlogs and don't forget to subscribe we've got a podcast called diving in with funny and jesse and we've got some amazing conversations which i enjoy recording so you guys can check them out and enjoy it too um, you can find us on Spotify, iTunes, Podbean, this channel, our second YouTube channel for the visual. We've got uh, a Patreon and we would like for you guys to become members. We we'll appreciate the effort. Thank you to everyone that has subscribed to our channel so far. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you to those that are yet to subscribe. Thank you for everything that you guys are doing, liking, sharing, commenting, being friendly. And just sticking with us throughout this journey we appreciate each and every one of you you guys can also check out my um my blogs i'll link them somewhere and also you can follow me on instagram for short poems and just enjoy the content that i put out or we put out and yeah i hope you guys are doing all right and may you stay blessed a big shout out to the person that suggested this video it's not in english but it's an it's a I mean to that video so a big shout out to the person that suggested this so without wasting time let's get into the video uh, one we ask you yeah, one one question at a time please and we will take the written questions afterwards so you can ask as many questions as you want written my question is that that the Lord of God came through and God revealed it to Jesus Christ. Where is the original Bible? What happened to that original Bible, which is the original Word of God that was revealed to Jesus? You see, the Gospels, the Gospels do speak about Jesus preaching the Gospel. The Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, you will read in them expressions like these, and Jesus went to a certain place and he preached the Gospel. Mark says, Jesus went to a certain other place and he preached the Gospel. Luke says, he went to a certain other place and he preached the Gospel. Luke says, uh, John says that he went to a certain place and he preached the Gospel. Gospel, 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 Gospel. Now, we believe in that Gospel. The word translated gospel into Arabic is Injil. We believe in the Injil. That there was this revelation God Almighty gave to Jesus. What he preached was from God. No doubt about that. But I'm asking my Christian learned brothers. I said, look, when he preached the gospel, did he have Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Acts, Romans, Corinthians, Galatians, Corinthians, and there is arm? A book? No, he didn't have any book with him. There was no Matthew. Book of Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, nothing was there. So what did he preach? What he preached was the gospel. His message was the gospel. What you have now in these books here are called the gospel according to Saint Matthew. The gospel according to Saint Mark. The gospel according to Saint Luke. The gospel according to Saint John. According, 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 according. I'm asking why according to? I write little booklets. Yeah, here's one. Crucifixion or Crucifixion by Ahmad Didat. Is the Bible God's word? Ahmad Didat. Is not according to Ahmad Didat. This is not according to Ahmad Didat. This is Ahmad Didat. You read G Brother Jimmy Swaggart's books. Is by Jimmy Swaggart. By Jimmy Swaggart. Is not according to Jimmy Swaggart. Why according to Matthew? According to Mark? According to Luke? According to John? Why according, 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 according? You know why? Because none of them sign the name. They are anonymous books. This is what you assume that Matthew wrote. This is what you assume Mark wrote. This is what you assume Luke wrote. This is what you assume that John wrote. Therefore, according, 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 according. 
Now, this translation is into Arabic. You have the Arabic Bible printed by the Christian, by the Bible Society. And they name their books in Arabic. It says, Injile Matthew. In the Injil or the Gospel of Matthew. Injil. Injile Matthew. Injile Marcus. Injile Lucas. Injile Johanna. I said, we believe in the Injile Isa. Isa means Jesus. We believe in the Injil, the Gospel of Jesus. Have you got Injil Isa? Bring it. We will, we will approve it. We will accept it. If there is such a thing, there isn't. Jesus Christ never wrote a word in his life. He never asked anybody to write a word in his life. Not a word was written in his life. Not one word was written in his lifetime. There is the book. So we believe. Some, you asked a question? No. So we believe in the principle that God inspired Jesus. Whatever he said was true. There are some of his words still preserved in the Bible. Like for example, and this is life eternal, Jesus says, that they should know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom thou hast sent. Do Muslims accept that? Of course. That there is only one true God. It's a la ilaha illallah. In the time of Jesus and Isa Rasulullah. Jesus the messenger of God. We believe. See, but now, he said that is what the message, the whole message that he brought is not here. Matthew even didn't write Matthew. Matthew, you see, J.B. Phillips, a prebendary of the Chichester Cathedral in England, a paid son of the Anglican Church, he translates the Gospels into modern English. You can buy his book, I don't know whether you can buy it in America, it's common all over the other English world. The Gospels in modern English by J.B. Phillips. J.B. Phillips, in his preface to the Gospel of Matthew, he says, Early tradition ascribed this gospel to the Apostle Matthew. That's what people said. But scholars nowadays almost all reject this view. What? Muslim scholars? Jewish scholars? Hindu scholars? No. Christian scholars. They reject the view that Matthew wrote Matthew. The author, whom we may still conveniently call Matthew. For example, I said Matthew 9.9. Instead of saying the first book of the New Testament, chapter 9, verse 9. Matthew 5, 17. Instead of saying the first book of the New Testament, chapter 5, verse 17. Conveniently, I must use the word Matthew instead of wasting your time and my time. So the author, whom we may still conveniently call Matthew, has plainly drawn on the mysterious Q in inverted commas. Which stands for the German word quella, sources, mysterious sources. He says, which may have been uh, an oral tradition. He has used Mark's gospel freely. In the language of the school teacher, he was copying wholesale from Mark. Matthew and Luke have copied 85% ad verbatim from Mark. And Mark was a 10 year old boy when he, Jesus walked this earth. He was a 10 year old boy, a school boy. Imagine an eyewitness and a ear witness, a disciple of Jesus. He call, goes and copies a boy 10 year old who wasn't there. Does it make sense to you? He's copying ad verbatim, word for word. Luke and Matthew, 85% copied word for word from Mark. And Mark was not there. This is, this is the status of the book. I hope I have answered the question. I really love how, I mean, did that, uh, I really love how he answers questions. Um, I was thinking, so why not remove these books from the Bible if there's if such a thing exists? How can two chapters say almost the same thing? So. Why not? My issue is if Christians know that these people are not present when Jesus was on earth, why should people live by them? Why is it so necessary to keep them? Why can they not remove them from the Bible, or just revise the entire Bible? Maybe put back some of the verses, not verses, but chapters that were actually removed and remove these that are highly contested. I'd really love an answer to that. What's the whole point? I really don't get it. I really don't get it. Otherwise, I enjoyed watching this video and listening to Amit Didat. A big shout out to the person that suggested this. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in my next reaction video.